guys, it's me, and today I want to do a more natural get ready with me. Um, this is just like my everyday summer look. Uh, there with a few variations. Sometimes I do a little bit more, sometimes do a, I do a little bit less, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of, there's Kaya, I just kind of want to show you guys what my everyday look is. Um, that's kind of more natural, but still glowy. Uh, and still kind of looks put together. So if you want to see how I did this look, keep watching. If you like Get Ready With Me's, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. And yeah, here we go. So starting off, I'm just going to use my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I'm going to use this all over my face. I'm not going to go in with my uh, Makeup Forever uh, mattifying one like I normally would just because I don't really need to feel like I need it today. Some days when I know it's going to be super hot and I'm going to be outside for a long time, I will use that, but I don't think I'm going to be outside because it's raining. Then I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Golden Tan with my brush and I'm going to apply this all over my face. And then taking my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light, which is the darker of the two bronzers, I'm going to take my big fluffy brush, which is from Real Techniques, and I'm just going to bronze around my face. And since I'm not doing a full like face face and I kind of want that natural look, I am not going to do a heavy contour. I'm just going to put the bronze around my face where it naturally would look bronzed from being out in the sun also want to make sure my face matches the rest of my body. Then after that I'm going to take my uh, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette and I'm going to use um, Luminous Flush or Mood Exposure. I can never tell. I think this is Luminous. F I don't know what color this is. This one right here. I think this is Luminous Flush. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Blush Brush and I'm just going to put some of that on my brush and then I'm going to put that on top of my bronzer like above it on my cheekbone. And then taking my stippling brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to just blend in everything around my face just to make sure that there's no harsh lines from the bronzer or anything else. I want that to just all blend together. Taking my Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Pen in Radiant, I'm going to just do a little bit under my eye. I normally wouldn't do this actually when I'm doing my natural look, but I am, I have dark circles under my eyes a little bit, so I'm just going to put a little bit in. This is what I've been doing, like, I don't know, every day when you guys see me with not a lot of makeup on, this is what I've been doing. This is usually what I do when I'm, this is usually always what I do during the summer. I really do like a prefer natural face over a lot of makeup. But I like wearing makeup and I like playing with makeup. So for those of you like, well then why do you buy so much makeup? Well because I still like playing with makeup. So I prefer my the way I look with a natural face, but sometimes I just like wearing a lot of makeup because it's fun. And then working on my eyebrows, I'm going to take my Brow Bar to Go by Gerard Cosmetics and I'm going to just do my eyebrows real quick. Then I'm going to take a spoolie brush and then brush out the in cor inside corners of my eyebrows just to kind of make them look a little bit more natural. And then taking my e.l.f. flat top brush, I'm going to take a little bit of Kitten, which is right here, which is a really pretty, um, really pretty shiny color by uh, Stila. And this is in my Spirit palette. You can buy Kitten in a lot of different palettes, so it also comes in the... Uh, Soul palette and then it also comes as a single but it's like one of their staple colors so I'm gonna take that I'm not gonna put it all the way up on my eyebrow I'm just gonna put it on my lid like up into where my uh, eye socket starts and then taking one of my uh, blending brushes I'm gonna take just like this little color right here which is just a neutral matte color and I'm just gonna brush this all over my eyelid Next I'm going to take my dual ended Urban Decay pencil and I'm going to use the color Perversion which I'm going to sharpen it real quick because it's a little bit dull and this is a pencil so it's not a liquid, it's not a gel, it's a pencil so I got to make sure it's really sharp so that it makes a clean line on my eyelid. And then I sometimes skip this step and just use mascara but I do like a little bit of eyeliner just to kind of have a little bit of definition. So instead of doing my winged liner I'm just going to line my eyelash line. And then I'm not gonna do a, I'm not gonna do a full wing, but I am just gonna curve it up a little bit at the end. 
like that. And then I'm gonna do that to the other eye. So it just makes my eye open up a little bit, but not like too much to where you're like, oh my gosh, you have a lot of eyeliner on like I normally like. And just like any other time I do any type of eyeliner, I'm gonna take my Naked Basics palette and get take Crave and then my small Eco Tools brush and I'm gonna set my black eyeliner. I'm also gonna do this so that I can get right up close to the lash line instead of tight lining. And then taking my two mascaras that I've been really loving right now, which is my Too Faced Better Than Sex, and then also my Kevin Aquan, I'm going to then put a ton of mascara on my eyes. Totally just realized I forgot to set my face before I did this, so we'll try to do it without making too much of a mess with my mascara. And take my Kevin Aquan and put two layers of that on top. Now I'm gonna try to set my face without getting any mascara under my eye again. I got a little bit of mascara down here on each side of my eye, which has kind of darkened those up. So I'm gonna go back in with my Lumi Touch and then just kind of put a little bit more in to cover that up. Next I'm gonna take my Pixi Dual Ended Pencil. This is the Endless Silky Eye Intensify Duo, and this is in the Slate and the Opal Glow. I'm gonna use Opal Glow and I'm gonna put that on my waterline. And then last but not least, I'm going to use my highlighter. This is Becca's Opal, and I'm going to put this on my tops of my cheekbones. A good amount, because I like to glow. Up to my hairline. I'm going to put it down my nose. And then top of my lip. And last but not least, I'm going to do some lip gloss. I'm going to use my Lancome Lip Gloss in Love. And then we're done. Next I'm going to move on to my hair, which I leave my hair, this is just washed hair from last night. I put it up in some little tiny clips in a bun to sleep in. So that way it kind of dried in like a little bit of a textured wavy way. So I'm going to go finish drying it and then I'm going to curl it. And the things I'm going to use to curl my hair are going to be a brush, my Kenra Volume Spray, which I don't have that much left. Good thing I have a backup. And then also, this is my Amika 3P curling wand. Any curling wand works. I have two. I have this one, and then I have my diamond one. Um, my diamond one's just packed away for travel right now, so this is the one I kind of just keep out. But this is, I believe, is this the one inch, one inch barrel? I don't know. This is one of the thicker barrels. I think it's the, I think that's an inch, right? Your thumb, isn't that it? That looks like an inch, right? Inch and a half maybe. But I'm gonna use this to curl my hair to get these to get a loose wavy curl, which is what I've been doing, which are the curls that I've been showing on my Instagram. A lot of you guys ask me what I've been using to get those curls, and it's the Amika wand, or any curling wand for that matter, but just with the one and a half inch barrel or one and a quarter, I don't know, whatever inch that is. So I'm gonna separate my hair down the middle and the back, and then I'm gonna start by grabbing big chunks of hair to curl. So instead of doing small, tiny ones, I'm gonna do big chunks, and that's gonna give me that wavy kind of big curls. So. I don't know, what is that, like an inch chunk of hair? And I'm gonna start by curling away from my head and then I'm gonna curl towards my head. I'm not gonna curl all the way to touching my head like I normally would, I'm just gonna curl, you know, the bottom parts of my hair. And the next big chunk of hair I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna curl towards me. So I'm gonna alternate going away towards, away, towards, and again, I'm not gonna curl all the way up my head. I'm just gonna curl up to three inches away from my head. Now with this last one in the front, I always make sure that I'm curling away. That whatever one is towards the front of my face, I curl away. Then you have these loose kind of curls, and then I'm gonna hairspray this side and then do the other side.
Next, after I'm done and I've hairsprayed, I'm gonna flip my head upside down to loosen up my curls and to make them a little bit more natural wavy. Like so. And I'm gonna redo this curl just cause it's not very good. Spray. And then as the day goes on, the curls will loosen up some more and then they'll look more wavy and natural and yeah. So there you have it, there is my natural summer everyday look, does that make sense? This is what I do when I'm just kind of in a hurry or I just want to have a little bit of makeup on. Again, sometimes if I'm really, really in a hurry, I will skip the eyeliner and just do mascara. Sometimes I, if I'm just doing mascara, I won't do any of the uh, eyeshadow and I'll just do my eyebrows. And then not all the time do I use under eye concealer, but today I was really, really tired and you could see it, so I wanted something to brighten up my eyes. So there you have it. There is my curly hair as well. And yeah, like I said, the curls usually loosen up after about like the first hour and then they kind of look like a natural wave, which I'll post a picture over here kind of showing you exactly what I mean but I really really like this look if you can't get your curls like this please remember that I have super long hair like my hair straight kind of hits about like a little bit above my belly button so for people who can't get the curls to, or the hair to make it look exactly like this it could be because your hair is layered differently than mine my I have really long layers or it could be because my hair is just longer as well so everybody's hair is different I found when I try to replicate other people's hair it doesn't always work out again some people wear like extensions and stuff as well and then you get really confused because you're like why isn't my hair as full as hers but then you realize oh she's wearing like you know two pounds of extra hair I'm not wearing any extra hair but you get what I mean like just because you see somebody do something and you can't get your hair to do it don't get frustrated um, like everybody's hair is different so that is how I do my natural everyday look I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions let me know below and I will leave all the products mentioned underneath this video as well in the description box so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys all later bye